Hey YouTube, what's up? In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a ceramic cup. So, if you haven't already watched my Blender Basics tutorial or the basics of Blender, please watch that first because it helps you know a few basics when I um, do my Blender videos. Anyways, uh, so let's open up your Blender file and or your Blender thing. And if you haven't already done this, press File new and then reload startup file so I'm just gonna reload it for you guys anyways there you go so this is what it's gonna start off with first we want to delete this so it's press X delete um, now we need to press shift A or go down to the add menu and press mesh and then cylinder so let's press um, Z to go into wireframe and let's press tab to go into edit mode now let's press view press front and then press view perspective or the graphic so let's zoom in a little bit and now we're going to press A to D select everything and press control R and then scroll it till there are four select four purple lines right click or left click and then or yeah okay there you go uh, left click and then right click and you'll you should be right here press A to D select everything and box select these top vertices Let's scale these. Press S and see. You can't just scale on your own, but I like scaling uh, with numbers. So just type in 0.9, and that should do it just right. Now we're gonna grab this blue arrow, and as you can see, if I zoom in really close here, I'll pan the view up. You can see one, two, three, four blocks total. So there's four. Let's bring it down halfway to right there. So that would be right there. There we go. That's perfect. Alright, I'm now going to zoom out for you guys. Just wanted you to see how precisely that was, just in case you wanted to do exactly how I did. Alright, now press A, D, select everything, and press B, box, select, and select these four vertices, or two vertices, these middle, the middle two vertices. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, B, if you press B, box, select anytime, you'll see this, and then you just drag it to box, select however much you want. Anyways. And now let's press scale, and you could scale it on your own, but I'm going to scale it to 1.05. So just barely a little bit up. And then press A to deselect everything. And B box select the bottom. Press S. And then 0.8. So that looks like a pretty good ceramic cut. Or not even ceramic yet, but it looks like a good cut. Now we're going to press view front again. And let's zoom in still. So we want to get rid of these, if you press Z into object mode, or Z into solid, you'll see that we have a top and a bottom, and we only want, we want only a bottom, we don't want a top, because the top's going to get in the way later on. So let's press view, front, zoom in a little, press Z back to wireframe, B, box select this top, these top vertices, and then press E, extrude, extrude and just right click and leave it right there then press X and press delete uh, you go to this thing and just press delete vertices now if you press Z into object or into you know whatever you call it uh, I can't think of it off the top of my head solid uh, you'll see that the top has disappeared so let's go back to front view and zoom out a little bit and press tab back into object mode so that looks pretty good right now we're gonna leave that how it is for now and let's start on our next uh... part so press A to deselect and then press shift A and go down to curve and then go to path Okay? And you'll see this long path I'm gonna pan the view over just a little bit and you want to grab this red arrow and just pull it all the way over till the yellow dots about like uh, one, two, three, four sectors away, or four blocks away. About that far away. Doesn't really matter. You can even get as close as you want. I mean, I'm just gonna pull it down till it's about in between these bottom two, uh, the second to last bottom two vertices. And then we're gonna press tab into object mode again and now as you can see you can right click on all of these and now we're able to bend around our object so first we're going to want to do the top one and you just want to shape this however you like 
and just drag it around. I want mine to be about like right there, I think, maybe. I don't know. And just shape it however you want. I mean, this part's literally your own, however you like it to be. And if you want, you can press, uh, if you just grab the circle, you can move it however, wherever you want it to go. But I just like to um, move it on its own. By the way, if your cursor, if you ever accidentally left click anywhere, just press Shift C. And although that'll mess up your rotating a little bit, like see it rotates it differently, it still gets your cursor back in the center, which is where you want it to be. So, here we go. We're almost done with bending this around. I want this to be kind of down a little bit, maybe. Bring this up. So I'm just going to go a little bit quiet for a little bit, just to let you guys figure out how you want your thing to look. And just so you know, you want these edges to curve out a little bit because um, when you when we create this later, it's gonna look a little bit weird if you don't. So I'm just gonna be good about like that. All right, that looks about right. Um, bring this back, maybe. When we turn it into a circle shape, we're going to have to adjust some things because I know this isn't going to look good. I mean, it looks good right now. It looks fine. But once we go into object, or once we turn this into something else, it's going to look a lot different. So anyways, we need to zoom out a little bit and bring your cursor just out, like, way far away. Not way far away, just kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Press A to deselect everything. Press Shift A. And then you wanna oh wait, first we wanna go in tab into object mode. Press shift A and then press um, curve and press circle, okay? So now you got this circle. We're gonna press the S button to scale this. And you wanna scale this to point two. Whoa, way too small. Wait, is that right? Let me see this thing. Yeah, that's right, okay. It just looks kinda weird under the cursor. So there it is, that's point two. That looks pretty good. I mean, believe it or not, that's gonna be the shape, that's gonna be the diameter of our handle cup, of our cup later on. So back to front view. We now want to grab your excuse me just a sec. You wanna grab your circle and take it all or go out here. You might need to expand this for this next part. And you want to right click on your path. Okay, after right clicking on your path, you want to go to this little button, object data button. It's got, just look at it, and that's what it looks like. Right next to the wrench and the color button. So you're now going to press, if you look all the way down, somewhere at the near bottom, not even close to the bottom actually, you're going to see bevel object. You want to click on that, and then click on the bezier circle. I don't know if it's bezier or bezier. Who knows? Anyways, just click on it. And my, as you can see in my path, like I said, is not looking how it needs to be. So I'm going to uh, shape it a little bit in just a sec. First things first, you want to click on this, uh, your, your bezier circle, and go to the preview, the resolution, at also in located in object data button. Go to the preview button and resolution and type in 1. So this will make it a bit more square, just a bit easier to render in the end because we don't want to make it too hard to render. So that looks okay for my handle. I'm going to change it a little bit. First right click on your handle and then press uh, Alt C or Option C depending whether you're using a MacBook or a regular PC. Or you can go down to um, Mesh. I can find it. Oh yeah, object, and you can go up to where is it? Let's see, I don't know. Anyways, just press Alt C uh, or Option C, whichever one your computer you're using, and press Convert to Mesh from Curve Meta Surf Text. And there you go. Now this is its own. Um, it's its own thing. So now we can delete the circle. Just press uh, X to delete, and it's gone. As you can see, the shape hasn't gone with it because it doesn't need to. So we're now going to uh, go back into oops, 
object mode. Oh, good. And mine's looking. It, hey, it looks okay. Sure, I could have improved it a little bit more, and I should have before I kept going, but I didn't. So now I'm gonna be with this, stuck with this problem. If you guys have have been slow with me, that's okay. You guys can uh, just press Command Z. I'm actually gonna do that or Control Z, and it will undo a few moves if we tab into object mode. Okay, maybe it won't. I don't know. Okay, here we go. So you want to go back to where you have your Bezier circle, or Bezier circle, and then press tab into object mode again. So just go back a little bit until you haven't deleted this, and this hasn't been converted to a uh, its own mesh, and just kind of move this around how you want it to look, or move this until you get it the look that you want it to have. So I'm going to move that a little bit. This I'm gonna go to front view for this. Okay, here we go. Zoom in, and I just want to make sure that this is kind of like matching that, the shape or the edge of it, and then move this down. That does not look good. All right, that looks okay. Um, yeah, it's kind of a small handle, but that doesn't matter. I don't care. And so now back to where we were about to do. Um press tab into object mode uh, option C or alt C press the bottom one uh, convert to mesh from curve meta surf text there you go you can delete this circle it looks more like a square to me but anyways delete it and now you're back to where we were in just a little bit ago so you guys didn't have to go back if you didn't want to just I just needed to because mine looks pretty bad alright now press view front and let's um, fix this cup a little bit and make it look a bit better. So press tab and to, okay, uh, first of all we need to be selecting this. Press tab to go into object mode if you weren't already. Press Z to wireframe and then press tab to edit mode. Alright, so now we're going to start off by pressing B box select this top vertice. Press E extrude and then just right click. Then press scale and type in 0.8, and then press E extrude, and then press Z for, uh, you know, doing it on the Z axis, and then leave it right there, and then press scale and type in 1.1, and then press E extrude, press Z, bring it down, type in uh, scale 1.5, oops, that's way too big. Control Z. Uh, just scale. I don't know what this scale was, so I'm just gonna scale it till it looks pretty level. Or oops, about right there. This one you might just have to move it to it. E extrude Z. Go down to here. E extrude again. Move down Z. Move down to like halfway between the bottom. About like about right there. And then press uh, scale. And just scale it in however much you want. Like I'm probably gonna do mine about right, like in between these. All right, then press. Um, if you go down to here, you'll find a button called merge. I think yeah, that's what it's called. Merge. Here we go. Press the merge button and then press at center, or you can press Alt M and then press at center. So if you press Option M or Alt M, it goes to merge, and then you press at center. Whoops. Press Control Z for me, please. Sorry, I messed you guys up. Press E extrude, right click, then press Alt M or, con or Option M, and then press at center. Press A to D select, and I will be teaching you the rest in the next half of the video. So if you tab and press Z and tab, you get a pretty good looking cup I mean you could keep it like that but you guys want to learn the next part so please uh, come to watch the next part of my video in, in just a little bit alright thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time